suggesting learning experiences for the source unit. We remember that source unit which is being proposed for the teachers in any curriculum document is a composition of objectives which are to be achieved by the learning experiences which are defined in the source unit. Learning experiences which are to be provided to the students and there is a big collection of them so that teachers can pick and choose of their choice and can plan their teaching for any grade level. Third thing is that we have to identify certain resource materials like videos, tapes, we can have newspaper pictures, we can have small descriptions, we can have stories, we can have books identified for the teachers so that they can use while planning. Then we said that there should be some kind of development for the students and for the teachers which is identified that what level this will be achieved. So if we have defined the development level of any concept or any element of the curriculum it makes our lives easier and then we can save some time, we can avoid unnecessary duplication and at the same time we can also avoid any loophole in students learning or any gap in students learning and understanding. The next question is that what type of learning experiences should be suggested for this source unit. Learning experiences which are given against the objectives which are defined in the source unit and teachers can use them as per their need in the classroom. Learning experience while they are being suggested it should be ensured that the learning experiences which we source unit in the source unit वो inherently linked होने चाहिए organizing principle के साथ जो उस unit में शामिल किए गए हैं. So learning experiences should not be in isolation and they should not be delinked from what elements we have identified and what type of organizing principles we are using in our unit. So experiences have to have some kind of link and they should be linked with the organizing principles which we have identified and which we want teachers to follow while they will be planning their, their units or their lessons for any grade level for the purpose of teaching. So we have learning experiences ko koshish ye karni chahiye ke wo bilkul de-link na ho, unka ek strong link ho, ek Varasati link hona chahiye un organizing principles ke saath jis ki bunyad par hum apne unit ko plan kar rahe hain ya ek unit jo hum teachers ke liye as source unit propose kar rahe hain. At the same time while we are defining learning experiences we have to ensure that a variety of needs and interests of the students should be served by these learning experiences. Learning experiences is tarah ke hone chahiye ke wo ek broad level par bachchon ki dilchaspiyon ko aur unke interest ko wo address kar sake aur unke grade level ki zaruriyat ko pura kar sake. Jo kisi bhi grade level ya age level ke liye zaruri hai un interest ko, un objectives ko un, aur un needs ko saamne rakhte huye broad level per learning experiences ko suggest karna chahiye so that there is no deficiency in the source unit and teacher can use it effectively and make use it use of it for planning lessons effectively for desired grade level. There are two things. We are saying learning experiences they are to be defined and they have to be in some kind of inherently linked with the organizing principles which we have used for the organization of our source unit. Second thing is that learning experiences should be broad enough that they can fulfill a variety of needs and interests of the students as per the grade level. If you are elementary level for the curriculum, you will try to elementary level in the source unit you are giving any kind of subject you are giving any kind of कि आप उसमें experiences को इस तरह से शामिल करें कि वो मुख्तलिफ grade levels के बच्चों के तालीमी जरूरियात को उनकी दिलचस्पियों को मुकम्मल तौर पर पूरा कर सके और इनको effectively planning of any lesson या किसी भी unit के planning में इस्तेमाल किया जा सके और teaching और learning का process effectively हो सके 
इस सोर्स यूनिट की मदद से देन वी हैव टू एंश्योर दैट ए वेराइटी ऑफ लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसिस इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर ईच एंड एवरी इंडिविजुअल ये इसलिए जरूरी है कि हम ये जानते हैं कि देर आर इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंसेस अमंग द स्टूडेंट्स नो टू स्टूडेंट्स आर लाइक देर इंटरेस्ट आर डिफरेंट दे आर इन द डिफरेंट एज ग्रुप उनकी जरूरियात मुख्तलिफ हो सकती हैं एक ही क्लास में तमाम बच्चों की जरूरियात एक जैसी नहीं हो सकती और ना ही तमाम बच्चे एक ही किस्म के काम में दिलचस्पी ले सकते हैं सो so, हमें लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसिस को इस तरह से डिजाइन करना है कि वो मैक्सिमम बच्चों के इंटरेस्ट और उनकी नीड्स को पूरा कर सकें और हर बच्चे की दिलचस्पी का कुछ ना कुछ सामान हर एक्टिविटी में या हर लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस में होना निहाय ही जरूरी है सो so दैट वी कैन इंश्योर कि हर बच्चा किसी ना किसी तौर पर किसी ना किसी एक्टिविटी में अटेंटिवली पार्टिसिपेट कर रहा है और टीचिंग और लर्निंग के प्रोसेस में दिलचस्पी ले रहा है और हम ये चाहते हैं कि बच्चा कोई भी बच्चा जो क्लासरूम में बैठा है वो किसी भी किस्म का बोरियत का या यकसानियत का शिकार ना हो जाए सो लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसिस जब यूनिट प्लान में दिए जाते हैं या सोर्स यूनिट में टीचर्स के लिए दिए जाते हैं तो हमें ये कोशिश करना पड़ती है कि ये लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसिस इतने ब्रॉड हों कि किसी ना किसी तौर तमाम बच्चों की जरूरियात को पूरा कर सके और हर बच्चे की दिलचस्पी का कुछ ना कुछ सामान इसमें होना जरूरी है सो वाइल वी आर ट्राइंग टू पुट लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसिस इन ए सोर्स यूनिट दीज लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसिस दे हैव टू बी इन ए वाइड वेराइटी as per the age and stage of development of the students and they should be good enough to provide something for each and every teacher so that they can plan effectively they have to have some kind of depth and breadth for each grade level and according to the needs of each and every students they should be so holistic that a teacher can effectively make use of the learning experiences which are appropriate for the group of students she is going to teach or she wants to teach in future so that the objectives which are broadly defined and given in the curriculum document and in the source unit they can be achieved effectively